my goodness, you guys. I haven't done one of these Nurse Eats videos in so long. So I'm going to do a Nurse Eats for you guys. And today's Nurse Eats is going to be artichoke spinach or spinach artichoke. It sounds weird to say artichoke spinach. Spinach artichoke spaghetti squash. And it's going to be kind of in a creamy, cheesy sauce. So I just want to keep it casual with you guys. All the ingredients will be listed down below. And I will walk you through the steps on making this delicious spaghetti squash. Isn't it cute? So the first thing you need to do is cut this bad boy in half. Now this is not meant for children. <laughs> no seriously guys, this is like so hard to do. It's gonna take me like 10 minutes to cut it open. Just kidding, not that long. But if you've never had spaghetti squash before, I seriously recommend you try it. Even if you're like, ooh, I don't like vegetables or ooh, I don't like squash, you should try it. It's just really different than any like type of vegetable, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, so this is like, gotta be extra, extra careful. This is seriously the hardest part about this whole recipe. The struggle. The struggle is real. Now make sure you always point the knife away from you. Oh, we're getting somewhere. I told you guys I was keeping it casual, literally. I meant keeping it casual. You're almost there. I can just, there we go. I'm just questioning if this is even worth it anymore because that was so much work. So the next thing I'm gonna do, sorry, I'm like bending down because the camera, I don't have it on a tripod, is you wanna scrape out all the insides. See, just like that. The next thing you wanna do is just take some olive oil and I kind of pour it in the middle, just like probably a tablespoon for each side and then use a little paint brush and paint paint your squashes, whatever sorts of painting you want to do. All right, I'm done. I should have just gotten the tripod, but I'm done trying to set this camera on things. Whoop. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm done trying to set the camera on things to uh, get good angles because um, I'm like literally setting on the butter container and my like flour container. Anyway, so the next thing that you're gonna do is just sprinkle with that, your squash with whatever seasonings you want. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic powder and then I'm gonna do a little bit of this cavender seasoning. It's just a Greek seasoning, but basically it's just a bunch of pepper and different spices. It's like the bomb. This is the best seasoning. You can use it on like everything. You can use it in your hair, on your skin. Just kidding, I don't use it for that, but it's great for cooking. So next, you're just gonna pop these bad boys in the oven at 425. Oh, sorry, you're supposed to flip them upside down. Whoop, okay. Go upside down, squashes. Boom. And then I'm gonna put them in the oven at 425, and they cook about 50 minutes. Just took the squash, oop, that's a spoon. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Um, no, let me get a fork. So just took these out of the oven. They cooked for a little under an hour. Yum. And they're so hot um, that it's like hard to even touch them to like scrape the middle out. But basically you're just gonna scrape all of this. It should come out nice and easy and so soft and just scratch it so it looks like spaghetti. So in this next step, I'm just sauteing a little bit of garlic in some butter, I know, not the healthiest, and then you're gonna add in some cream. I am gonna do half and half, and then also some almond milk, so it's just a little bit healthier, but um, once this is kind of sauteed, you can add in your milk and cream. To thicken up the sauce, I'm gonna add in a little cornstarch and make sure you do it by the uh, instructions and not just dump it in because else you'll form like a bunch of little chunks. Uh, speaking from experience here. Now that my sauce is at a good thickness, I am gonna add in the artichoke hearts and some spinach. So now that my squash has cooled down a bit, I was able to easily shred it all into like little spaghettis and then you're just gonna add in the sauce on top of it and mix it all up. And I'm just going to add a little bit of cheese on top. Or a lot of bit of cheese, let's be real here. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven on broil for just a couple minutes. Oh my goodness, look at these. 